So we're here at our wonderful sponsor Micro Center where I have the reasonable gaming PC built. So I'm starting out with an AMD Ryzen 5 5600X and a GTX 1660 from MSI. Unlike my esteemed colleague Ken Bolito, who's going for something far more ridiculous and totally unnecessary. I don't know about far, far ridiculous, but I have a Ryzen 7 5800X and a coveted 3060 Ti. For this episode of Broke vs Pro, Ken and I are going head to head to see who can build a better invisible desk gaming PC. And to make it a little bit more fair, we're going to be judged by our good buddy, Matt. So of course, being at our wonderful sponsor, Micro Center, they've given me a wide variety of parts to choose from. <laughs> They have Crucial Ballistics Max RAM, 16 gigs. It is a DDR4 5100. It's a $960 set of RAM right there. That is the fastest RAM I've ever seen with my own eyes. Damn. So. No, 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 don't do that. Don't why? do that. Why not? Why not? Why not? No, 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 no. Can I just point out that this 4,000 megahertz memory is $158 and the 5,000 is almost 10 times the price. Yeah, but you're, it's you're a million times the performance. You're being a pro. You're just being a pro. Microsoft's gonna watch this video and realize what you spent on your pro setup. You're gonna be banned from the store. You realize you're gonna be banned from the store, Ken. They're gonna have your face on the front door and they walk in and go, do not let this man in. So because I am taking advantage of the highly sophisticated broke setup this time, my thought is to build it around an Ikea desk. Now this desk is only 40 bucks, but because it is so affordable, and importantly, it actually looks pretty nice. I think that I can actually work with a little shelf that's built in to build my system on that, and then I have a secret weapon. What Ken and Matt don't know is that I am going to install a very sophisticated series of mirrors to hide my entire setup. So it will literally be the invisible desk PC. All I need is literal smoke and mirrors. Or maybe just mirrors. If there's smoke, that's probably a bad thing. Ooh, $32 for an 80 plus 430 watt. I could almost get away with this actually. So for the SSD, I am going to be using a 500 gigabyte Crucial P5, which will give me not only the performance, but importantly, it's gonna send me those dollar dollar bills. <laughs> Can't believe I said that with a straight face, but you get tucks, I'm wearing a mask. <laughs> That's how I feel inside right now. Just gonna walk away, just gonna walk away. Josh, cut that out. Cut that out, I didn't make that joke. Cut that out. <laughs> Mouse. What mouse do I want? What mouse should I get? Well, if you want white, we have the... That's Bluetooth? Here. Bluetooth yeah, will be helpful. Phone. I'm trying to make the invisible setup. I can't have wires. There you go. Wait, what, 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 what is that? What's what? What's that? Huh? Is that a, is that a Linus yeah. lanyard? Uh, uh, I take it back. I don't like you anymore. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> he really doesn't like Linus. First thing that I need to get for my setup is an air cooler. I didn't want to get an AIO because of the way that my desk is designed. Not that, not that I, uh, what? What was that? Nothing. So I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. I've actually been wanting to build a PC in a desk, specifically a school desk for the longest time. I found my desk on eBay for about 50 to $60, and it's refurbished as well, so I didn't have to do any repainting, I didn't have to do any resurfacing. It just looks fantastic. And most importantly, there's a lot of room to build a PC in there. The Evo V2 looks like it'll fit my aesthetic pretty well. Yeah, I'll go with this. All right, so we have 650 watt SFX power supplies here from PowerSpec. I think this is probably more than enough for what I need. That's not a cart, that's... You gotta carry, you have to carry everything you buy. New rule. Thanks, what? man. What? Wow. Favoritism? What the, what, what was that? These look nice, I, I, I like these. Well, what else do you want? I mean, my belt could use some. Oh, yeah, 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 go, go. It's on, uh, it's on the pros budget today. I'm just saying that this is a little sauce, as the kids say, it's a little sauce. So the cool thing about Micro Center is that they also have a crazy amount of monitors. Oh. 4K for 250? 280 hertz, excuse me? This isn't a 1440p monitor, this is actually 4K, and this is also 32 inches. I don't need 4K though, I'm not gonna be gaming Hello, at Hello audience, 
Ken is busy trying to choose a monitor, but I would like to take this opportunity while he wastes time and tries to pick something that's far too expensive to tell you about our wonderful sponsor, Micro Center's excellent new deal. So all you need to do is check out the link in the description and you can get yourself a free pair of Bluetooth headphones. All you gotta do is sign up for the email list and then the next time you're into a Micro Center store, you can come and pick it up. Why not sign up? It's free stuff, literally free stuff. Anyway, we're gonna get back to Ken choosing a monitor or whatever nonsense. Obviously you don't care about that. You care about free stuff. Thanks, Micro Center. And last but not least, I need my peripherals. All right, I think I'm gonna choose the Mamba Wireless. Oh, I need a mouse pad. I'm gonna grab two. Just in case one pad is too big for the whole entire surface that I'm using, I also have a small one just for the mouse. Wow, way to flex on me, Ken. That's what I'm here for, Austin. Ken Flex Bolito. That's not gonna catch on. You realize that's not gonna catch on, right? Look at this. Wouldn't it be a shame if I just, you know, tested the durability of your glass? Is it tempered? Is it tempered? I, I, look, I, I'm just looking out for your safety. Oh, I'll show you my temper, all right. So that goes like this. Oh my God, we're gonna be here a while. I'm working with the tools that I was provided with, Kenneth. Right now, you can see this is the entire size of my desk. I'm going small, which means that my invisible setup will be so small that your eyes won't be able to see it. Is it a mirror? No. Are you trying to tell me you're already done? Did you already pre-assemble your desk? I'm here to learn. Teach me how to build Ikea. You, you follow the directions and then you do it all over again when you realize that you put something on wrong. Thanks, Mr. Evans. I have a question. Yes? Are you qualified? To, I'm a, I'm a to teach us how to build IKEA furniture or do anything remotely worth learning. I'm a licensed YouTube professional. You can put my PC right here. And you're gonna put a mirror in here, right? Wait, do you, do you even have the mirror? I'm not gonna use a mirror. Oh, you're not. What, what are you gonna use again? Well, since you figured me out, I'm gonna come up with something new now. Oh, I was right. <laughs> I was right! I knew it was gonna catch. I'm gonna use aluminum foil. <laughs> oh, that's so much worse. It's a mirror with extra steps and less effective. There's a lot of trash talking going on on this side of the room. Probably not a good sign that the trash talk is coming from the judge. <laughs> <laughs> you make a good point. You make a good point. And now it is my turn. So I'm here to build what I think is the best invisible, invisible PC setup. Now I'm going to take inspiration from something that I have always wanted. I don't know if you guys have seen the Acer Thronos. I think it's called the Acer Thronos Air, which is a whole entire setup built around like a chair with a crazy monitor mount. Essentially, you just sit in it and you are, you know, immersed in the whole PC gaming experience. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put all of my PC components down here. Probably a big concern that a lot of viewers, especially if you are PC inclined, probably are wondering is how airflow is going to work. Because there is no throughput for air, I'm going to be drilling holes on the other side of this. We'll use that as exhaust. We won't have any uh, intake for air, but the world is our intake. We'll make it work. It, it's not there, it's everywhere. Air is everywhere. Yeah? Yeah? So Ken is currently across the hall getting ready to build his setup. Now, I'm just grabbing all my components, making sure I have everything together. And one of the things I realized was that Ken left his 900... Here he comes, here he comes. Uh, anyway, so um, let's uh, get ready. Oh, good morning. How's it going? What's going on? You, uh, you seem ready to build a PC? Um, yeah. I don't know what he's up to. He's just kind of sneakily hiding things, or not hiding things, but he's definitely hiding something. It's probably nothing that's going to blow any of our socks off, let alone mine. I think his grand plan is doing nothing at all. I wouldn't be surprised. I think it could just be all mind games. Okay, that was a close one. He almost busted us. <clears throat> uh, as I was saying before Ken so rudely interrupted, Ken made a key tactical error by leaving his RAM out 
So what I'm going to do is because we're using crucial ballistics memory, I'm going to just gently open up the seals and swap the gems and see if he notices that instead of using his $900 overkill monster, he's using mine. So he'll be trying to overclock it and he won't understand why it's not actually getting to the speed. <laughs> Don't sell me out, okay? You're, You're asking the judge. Yeah, to not- To you film you cheating. I'm gonna try to gently lift the seal and put it back so that he doesn't notice anything is wrong. Look at that, look at that. He'll never suspect a thing. My regular normal people memory is coming out. Gently remove his overkill memory. And go, doop, and doop. My ruse was successful. Now it's time to go sneak this back over across the hall for Ken and he'll be none the wiser. All right, so I have an MSI B550i Gaming Edge Max Wi-Fi motherboard. This is probably the easiest PC build that I've done as far as actually just, you know, putting the PC part of it together. The, that will need a little work. Cross pattern for this. That's what Austin Evans taught me during his PC build tutorial for 2021. Screw everything in a cross pattern so that you apply equal pressure to each side so you don't stress any of the components on your board. So again, this is the Crucial Ballistics Max. It's a 16 gig kit, two eight dims that go up to 5,100 megahertz. This is probably the fastest RAM that I'll be holding in my hands for quite a while. You know what's funny is that this just feels like normal RAM. It doesn't feel any different, any more or less substantial or heavy. You can't feel the speed? Before I get too carried away, I wanna see if this stuff fits vertically in the setup here. Ooh, just barely. Look at, oh, that looks really nice in there. Ooh. And I have a little room to push this back too. There was probably a good like six-ish inches through the back there. You so rely on an extra six inches to save the day. You wouldn't know what that's like. No, but I know what five inches is like. Something I didn't need to know today. <laughs> so this is my building test bench. Okay, that's a little smaller than I thought it was gonna be. All right, just to make sure that there's no um, static or anything. There we go, that's, that's where I'm building my system. Can I just confirm with you yep. that your entire plan yep. is to just set all your components on this mouse pad and call it a day. No. I've got my normal pleb RAM. Unfortunately, I'm not fancy like Mr. Ken Bolito over here. Do you think you're actually going to be able to get more performance because you have your stupid overkill RAM? Well, it's more of a fail safe just in case I need to one up you. Well, guess what? I have my own fail safe to one up you. Now, um. Yeah. I do need to make it from here to here, and this is slightly longer than that, so some bending may be required, but that's Song. fine. Right, so, very good, so with the game up, with everyone on Austin's train of knowing what I'm going to do, my new plan is gonna be a radical. I'm gonna do the opposite of the challenge. Invisible PC, how about a visible PC? How about the brightest, biggest, most in your face middle finger of a PC you've ever seen. I'm gonna build my PC so that you're forced to stare at it. It's gonna be so beautiful. It's gonna be so unabashedly a gaming PC masterpiece. Mind if I pitch a suggestion here? Hold the camera. Hold the camera. You're gonna, wow, you're no. really gonna help me, aren't you? Yeah, hold the camera. All right, all right. That's, that's, not, that's not gonna fit. That's, that's. I mean, that's actually not like the worst idea I've ever seen. Okay, so I'm going to drill a bunch of holes within these 120 mil circles, and that should give me, hopefully, enough airflow going from the open side through to this back side. The other thing that we're gonna do first is he has to drill this kind of twice, not just because there's two holes, uh, but because it's not a great idea to use a giant bit to do this. You kind of want to do a small hole first for each of these, 
and then do a big uh, hole. Yep. Shouldn't you drill the holes for your fan first and then do this in the middle? So we thought about that. Zero confidence that we can get the screws to actually work to keep the fan in place with the bits that place? we have. Yes. Okay. Well, double-sided tape, but oh, same better. Yeah. Sounds like something I would do. Yeah. Wow, that was way easier than I thought. That was cool. We have to do that a lot more times, but that was cool. Okay. Is it montage time, Ken? It is montage time because realistically, we cannot film all of this. What a great looking SSD. Wow, that looks so fast. I bet it's gonna be so fast that you won't even see it coming. Just like the punchline of this joke. That was the punchline of the joke, in case you're curious. Yeah. The best jokes are the ones you have to explain. You're a mom. I don't have to explain that one now, do I? Sorry, Grace. So, the next hurdle is going to be powering this, because regardless, I want to put the power supply on the bottom. Look at this, that'll be so easy to cable manage and hide. So this 3M tape is incredibly sticky, which is important because I want this to not fall. All right. Here goes nothing, gents. You guys firmly adhere it. Oh, look at that. That is already falling off, damn. Okay, I'm just gonna let that sit for like a minute. We're gonna uh, appreciate the fine craftsmanship of the artisans at MSI for building some very tough components that are gonna hold my graphics card up with literally no support whatsoever and the cable is gonna bow it out. Look at that. That's vaguely correct. Wow. All right, status update. So our drill was running out of power and we don't have any battery packs left. So I only installed one fan in there, but if you come over to the other side, you can see how clean it is. Now, I don't know if that will necessarily give us a lot of airflow, particularly exhaust, but you know what? Again, I'll say that this is probably better than nothing. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna drop this in. Let's, let's just try this. Damn, yeah, son. It's a little tight in there, but. Did you put a, you put a button? You have an actual power button on the side? I do have an actual power button. What the hell? Yeah, man. Look, I thought ahead. This chair has more power buttons than most of our builds. It <laughs> I will 100% use a screwdriver to start my build every single time. Yeah, except uh, I realized very quickly that that would not be an option for me, so. <laughs> That's smart. That's smart, all right. In theory, if my power button is wired up properly, I should just be able to and. Oh <laughs> my goodness. The, the RGB on my fans are not hooked up. I forgot to do that, but that's some RGB edge in there. Look at that. Wow, that's actually real airflow. Is that real airflow? Oh yeah, that's real airflow. Yo, the crazy thing is that because the whole side of this is open, you just have a lot of sound. And the fans are kicking at 100%. So um, we'll have to tune that a little bit, but it's working, it's working. See, see, I told you. This is good. This is I good. I told you I got this. I got this. Welcome to the judging day of Broke versus Pro, where our kind friend and compatriot, Mac, is going to be judging exactly how much better my system is than Ken's. As you can see, since the last time we all spoke, I've done some expert cable management, lots and lots of tape and zip ties holding this all together. I also, as you'll notice, have installed some beautiful RGB lighting that I've set to G to match my razor peripheral. Oh, no, 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 that's fine. Uh, uh, What's going on here? Uh, it seems like some of the cable management has, this is just a wad of tape. So I have a concern right off the bat. Go ahead. There doesn't seem to be a chair. So I thought that I could just steal a chair from the office. However, I've been informed that I cannot do that. So um, this is how I'm gonna be gaming. So, you know, you get a little bit of that, like kind of a stretch action. Um, it's, it's really good for your posture. Plus, you know, I'm gonna stay light on my feet, you know? Like, what happens if Ken tries to sneak up on me? Like, boom, 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 boom. Here's my other concern. You're sitting here gaming, no, 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 no. and and you 
There, you seem to be. No, no. Hitting. What are you talking about, Matt? I am an, a, a pro broke gamer. I have precision. I'm not gonna just my have my hands fly wildly all over the table. I'm still concerned that you didn't. You didn't build anything. What? What are you talking about? I built the desk. You put the motherboard on a, a mouse pad. Okay, well the mouse pad, to be fair, is slightly it's not at the attached. moment. It's not attached. Now let me ask you, how much was your entire setup? You don't remember, do you? Fun fact, I do. Yeah, why are you asking me a question you know the answer for? I believe it was $1,300? It was $1,439. $1,400 bucks for everything, everything in 2021? Everything except a chair. All right, so it is judging day, and this is my school desk PC setup. Matt, what do you think? I mean, already, just right off the bat, without even you showing me anything, this looks so much better than Austin. <laughs> this is my first time seeing the arm with the monitor, and one of my concerns with it was that it was gonna tip over. The weight distribution tends to lean probably around here, realistically, but there's enough happening under yeah. the chair with the PC components where it's anchored enough. So, I gotta tell you too, your cable management looks so much better than Austin's. I don't see any just wads of tape hanging off the sides of it. I don't have my headset plugged in yet because uh, I wanted to keep the cable management tidy. This is a wired headset. Mainly got it because it's the Razer Kraken Kitty. You guys might have seen me talk about this before, but... Uh... I might dock a couple points for that one. How much did you spend on this? I spent around $3,800. I do have the actual number. It's a little, you, you, you did, you're close. But uh, it was $3,682, so 100 bucks oh, off. Yeah. Save $200. There you go. What? You know, I know this is supposed to be the invisible gaming PC, which I would say this is fairly invisible. But uh, then it, excuse me? And, but then if we do want to change it to the super duper visible like Austin wants to. This still looks better still as a visible <laughs> PC than, than still Austin. Still visible. I am really, really happy with how this turned out. It could have been a lot worse, but again, I think I've been sitting up on a lot of this pent up creativity that I've had on this one idea. And I'm happy that I have the pro setup to just go to town on it. It's, it was really fun. I got a lot to ponder here. I want to see how these guys perform before I make some final decisions on who won this. But, uh, I think, I think it's Ken. Like, I think so. Matt. Matt. Yeah. Do you need a Ryzen 7? Um, I, also, I also have fast RAM. You got fast RAM? I have fast RAM. Oh. Do, 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 you, do you want fast RAM? I can use some fast RAM. Okay. So one of the main tests that we have here, in addition to the simple test of skill and aesthetic, is the price to performance. So we're going to be evaluating that with 3D Mark, Time Spy for, it's a little bit of an overall test, but mostly on the graphics side. So right now, I have my perfectly visible GPU. Guess how quiet it is? Well, quiet. here's the thing. So normally this system is very quiet, but I, in how confident I am in this setup and how much I loved working on it actually did some slight overclocking and I tuned my RAM. I got a little question for you. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about your RAM. Where are you at with your RAM right now? So I would like to preface that I am not a memory overclocker. That, uh, that sounds like a lot of work. If you do memory overclocking, you guys are uh, very good at what you do and I admire your patience. I got my RAM to 4,000. 4,000? 4,000. Wow, Wait, really? Yeah. So base, there is also some slight hardware compatibility with it. Like you need to find a Ryzen motherboard that actually works with it. What kind of RAM did you purchase? So I purchased 5100 megahertz speed RAM. What's the name of your RAM? It's Crucial Ballistics Max. Oh really? Hmm, it's interesting. Because if you take a look at my system, what does that say right there? Oh, that would make a lot of sense. <laughs> wait, wait, but see, that would that would make a lot of sense. But I got it to four thousand, so I mean, <laughs> so I, I, I like how impressed you were. But I overclocked the RAM. How long did it take you to hit what you should have just been able to click one button to get to? I was here till midnight. <laughs> but, but. 
but I, four thousand. Jokes, jokes on me. I'm running mine at 3600. Your 5000 megahertz. I'm only running at 3600 on a Ryzen 5. So Austin now has spent. Um, you spent nine hundred fifty dollars on your RAM. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. It's on your receipt. Hey, can I? Uh, can I see the the Micro Center receipt for a I second? Think I can. Can I? Can I see the Micro Center receipt? This is the Micro Center receipt that has both of our components in here. So who's to say what was what? Who had what? All I know is what's in my computer is in my computer. What's in his computer is in his computer. Enjoy your $950 RAM that you couldn't even get faster than mine. Can we get a judge in here to adjudicate this nonsense? We need like the boxing ref to come in, call the fight, and call who is the winner here. Is it Austin or Kent? In my weird s s math, which I won't explain. Just know that I sure. know that we'll I just did. take your word for it. What's my score now? If we had gone with the original builds with the original price and what we got here. Austin pre-cheating score. Got it. It would have been 14 and a half versus 22.7. I would have won. However, because you are a dirty cheating scoundrel, Austin Evans, your score was 12.7 versus 19.3. Yeah. So Ken, give me a high five. Yeah, thank you. Point goes to Ken. I should have had this one in the bag. It's priced performance. I have the broke setup. And somehow it's got a thousand dollars more expensive. Cause you cheated. And it's not even any better. Cause now, you're bad at cheating. Now the real winner here is Matt because he gets to take home not only a Ryzen 7 5800X, but Wait. also whoa, 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 whoa. 5100 megahertz RAM. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Yeah, we, uh, we, we, yeah, yeah, we uh, yeah, settled yeah, that yeah. outside of. You heard that. They're literally cheating. The judge is shaking hands with the contestant on a first bribe on camera. It's not a bribe. What? It wasn't a bribe. It was an agreed upon payment for me to change the outcome of the thing. You guys act like it's over. We haven't even done the other two criteria. What about the aesthetics? Who wins the aesthetics? Him, me. totally. Oh. You don't that even, wasn't even close. We don't, we, don't even have to, we don't even have to play F1 and see Austin crash. I don't even get to use my setup. I, I want a game. I want to beat you. Th doesn't even matter now? No. I mean, no. I feel like we can preemptively just assume that he's going to beat you on that. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching this episode of Broke vs. Bro. Please check out our wonderful sponsor, Micro Center, at the link in the description. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, cheating is for losers. Bribery is for winners.